you mentioned earlier about making sure that your brand personality basically shows up in everything you do. Are there any other ways that you can go about making sure that your brand personality is embedded in your processes, your systems, in every employee? Like, Does it really have to come down to informing every little thing that you do? Or can it be more of just like a, a macro idea that sort of filters down? Like, what? What's, well, I think there's both. I mean, it's both. The culture is a lot about that macro idea and making sure that you understand it. And you try to bring that alive in your in the people that you work with. Uh, for me, literally, I do brand inventory asset work. So I go around and I look at every single way in which your brand interfaces. So it might be through live video. It might be through your website. It, it's your emails. I, I look at every way in which you have interaction with potential customers or customers. And then within that context, I'm always looking for, well, what are the high frequency see contact points in that inventory. And then what are the high impact contact points? Because you may have a high frequency that has low impact, or you may have a low frequency activity that has high impact when you interact with customers. So I kind of look at that scenario and say, okay, we really may need to make sure that we're delivering in this full suite of contact points, but we need to make sure that in the high impact contact points or the super high frequency contact points, our brand is present. So there's a strategic tactical approach to inventorying all your contact points. And as for culture and hiring and, and all these other things are very important as well, uh, because that's the way in which people interact with your brand through people, process and technology. 